In this video, we are going to sketch out a strategy before initiating a search in Academic Search Complete, one of the library's databases that contain magazine, newspaper, and journal articles. This research worksheet is available to download from Canvas and the YouTube page where this video resides. You may want to download it and follow along with me or use it later to help you gather your thoughts. We're ultimately trying to find some relevant articles that help to answer a research question or support a thesis statement. Before starting to search, we're going to list out the two or three key concepts. I'm going to start with two here, the main topic and then the issue related to the main topic. The topic is eSports, and then I want to list some synonyms to eSports, so I'll use video gaming here. The issue, the other column, is diversity within eSports. I'm looking specifically at female players and how they are treated within the eSport environment. So I'll brainstorm some other alternative phrases and synonyms. I'm going to search one term from column one combined with a term from column two. Before doing the search, let me diagram how search works in the library databases, also really in any search engine. Here's a visual. You've got here all the articles that mention eSports. It could be an article on eSports in college or as a possible Olympic sport. It could be an article focused on addiction, where eSports is mentioned only once in the fifth paragraph. eSports may not even be the main topic, but it is mentioned once. So this circle represents all the articles mentioning eSports. This second circle represents all the articles that mention diversity, anything on diversity. So diversity in the workplace, diversity in plant life, um, diversity in the college population, culture, etc. Everything that mentions the word diversity at least once in the article. The intersection of the two circles is where all of the articles reside that mention both of these terms, esports and diversity. It's a subset of the two larger circles. So whereas there may be 10,000 articles that mention esports and 1 million articles that mention diversity, you've got maybe 200 articles that mention both terms. What we will do in the Academic Search Complete database is tell the database to look for all the articles where both terms are present. We will combine these two terms together, eSports and diversity. We'll look at the results. If we don't get much, we'll try eSports and female players. From there, we might try any combination of terms from the first column with the second column. We will be combining them in the search with the operator AND. Here we are in Academic Search Complete. It's located on the library's website and you can access it there with your student ID number. Typing in the terms, you see the AND operator already there. This is the number of results I get from my first search. After looking at the results, we might decide to use another term, although this article looks very promising just from the title. However, it is good to scan the article briefly. Be prepared to be flexible and persistent. It is rare to find exactly what you are looking for on the first try. So having alternative phrases will help you expand on the possibilities. Searching eSports and female players gets me only seven results, a very small number, though that same article appeared. Again, I'd recommend trying several combinations of terms from both columns to see what kind of results you get. I hope this helped to clarify how search works. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We're here to help.